It's the man, shout out to Facts and Stacks Podcast. Yo, you dropped the camera, you gotta keep it up, baby. I gotta show you, stop it, stop it. Let me show you how to operate. Two six seven. You see me yeah. down here. You see yeah. stacks and facts podcast. Fact, facts Check them out. Stacks. Seven. Facts and stacks podcast. Yeah, okay. Subscribe right, right, right now. Right. Check them out. Right. Tune in, and it's just like that. Back in it make it clear. It's your host Rob Blow bringing y'all week sixteen in these NFL picks. I'm trying to get the biggie in the shirt. Too, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my shit together. But I got my man Shad Shad, my fault. In the no, building. Everybody do that shit. So you <laughs> you good, bro. You good. <laughs> <laughs> what it do, my dog? What it do, man? Facts and facts. Shad Spitz. Y'all know what it is. Faithfully Browns. Get this shit. Yeah, man. You know what's up, man? We about to get to this, man. We got these picks to do, bro. We're going to start <laughs> off with that Thursday night game. You know what I'm saying? The people's waiting for right now. Yeah. The Saints is in LA versus the Rams. What do you think about this game? Um taking the Rams. Um, just because once again, the Saints go as far as uh Derek Carr. And, and he's one of the most inconsistent, but as as of late, just one of the most inconsistent quarterbacks with talent that I've been witnessing. So I'm just going off of that alone. I do think that, that D line though, um, of Las Vegas has the chance to cause some havoc. When it comes to like that screen game and stuff for the Rams, but I still think they're gonna find a way to beat them. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I mean, the Saints probably got their best one of the year over the Giants, though. Like, <laughs> so, I mean, do that count? I mean, with, do that with, really with, count? Uh, I got some backup. shots for the Giants later. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk and about with that. back with the backup then too as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm so, saying though, but I mean Daniel Jones, you might want well to watch out because y'all like coming for your job. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? Nah, we'll he's definitely about... coming for that job. Like he gonna have to, he gonna be in the whole competition that he wasn't even expecting to be in in the offseason next year. Yeah, no, nope. that trading camp gonna be crazy. But the Rams, <laughs> they've been hot for a couple months now, yeah. for real, for real. especially yeah. since they got uh Kareem Williams back with Kyron <laughs> Williams. Yes. Fucking up on two names. D ain't here. Somebody else <laughs> fuck up on the names. We know, you know what you talking about, Kyrie, Red Woods out there doing his thing. But like you said, yeah. it come down to Derek Carr versus Matt Stafford. And I got Stafford going down there, getting Stafford. a field goal at the end, say 24-21. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with that. I'm definitely with the close game of it, too, as well. Um, it's going to be a close game for sure within that three-point spread. Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. I'm trying to shit All right, so the next game is... The Bengals is in Cincinnati versus the Steelers, man. Who you got? Uh, who did I choose? Uh, I think I chose Cincy. And um, they do. They got their backup quarterback in, right? Right now because uh, Joe is gone. I don't know. Um, this probably is just uh, maybe like a, a fill-in type of pick. This one ain't got too much of stats backing, in my opinion, because if you ask me, off the stats wise, I would say still is probably should win this game, you know. Uh, but I just like the playmakers that Cincy has, even when they don't have, you know, Joe Burrow out there. I just they just give the uh, the next guy up a real big chance because of who he has around him, you know. So I'm going Cincy. And then shout out to my dog uh, BP who who stays out in Cincinnati, man. He's a huge Bengals fan, so it's also a pick for you, dog. <laughs> Hey, that's what's up right there. But what'd you say his name was? Uh, BP. BP, your team about to lose, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Steelers, man. It's an upset pick, for real. I feel like I ain't seen the spread on it. We need to start doing the actual yeah. numbers on here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that'd that'd really dope, get their parlays right. Yeah, that'd be dope, that'd be you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, I take the Steelers on this one, man. I say Brown, and he's been playing hell of a game. Mm-hmm. At back to back, you know what I'm saying. I feel yeah. like at some point he's gonna run into that one defense that's just really gonna introduce him to the NFL. And I'm gonna say is lined up to be that team. No funny. For sure, for sure. <laughs> still is twenty to seventeen on this one. D got the Bengals and D got the Rams on them last two games. Okay. By the way, on the picks, D is at number one. I can't skip over this. D number one right now. Yeah. Sixty three and forty seven versus. 61 and 49, so I'm right okay. there. I'm trying okay. to get right. I'm trying yeah. to get right. Next game going to be the Browns at the Texans, man. What you got? 
Mm. I'm going to take the Browns, right? And I'm going to take it because for some reason, it's something about Joe Flacco and his coolness, man. Like, <laughs> this, this composure, you know. Joe Cool. Joe Cool just being able to come in there and, you know, his veteran presence has been tremendous for them, you know, at that position right there. And he ain't got nothing really kind of like in the way. Like Deshaun really has a lot still blocking. I feel like blocking his mental from reaching its full potential right now like they needed to be for the Browns, you know, because he got a lot of shit on his plate. We ain't even going to speak on that. But uh, uh, I'm taking the Browns, but I do think it's going to be a close game because it's it's D'Amico Ryans, right? Yeah. Coach, because he has, he has them Texan boys playing, bro, to the point where I wouldn't be surprised if it's one of them type of end of the game, whoever got the ball last, field goal, or touchdown type of games. I would not be surprised if it comes down to that because of how hard – that defense plays for Houston, uh, and then that running game getting together as well. But I'm still taking the Browns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. I'm taking the Browns, even though Deshaun Watson hurt now, you know what I'm saying? Even yeah. his backup quarterback hurt. But I'm going to still take the Browns, man. That defense is crazy with it. And uh, uh, the, the Texans. The receivers getting hurt too. Uh, Tim yeah. Dale, the rookie out for the season. Nico Collins That's might it. not play. He missed a lot of that Jets game last week too. So the young boy, he he had at home. I think he five and one, five and two at home. Um, uh, CJ Stroud, but without them receivers, I'm gonna go with the road team Browns. Twenty three to sixteen. Mm -hmm. D got the same thing. On to D team, who we already know he got the Colts. But we gonna <laughs> talk about it, and we gonna chop it up anyway. Thursday, y'all, man, we flying, y'all. We flying. If you save mean. up right now, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get fifteen percent off the Sunday night flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get Coach said the Falcons, man. Who you got? I'm taking the Falcons. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if this is an upset. Um, I do feel like the Falcons – what's the best way to say this? Falcons, to me, always have a game plan to be in the game, even when, like, Ritter's not fucking having a great game. Or um, he throwing like ten passes and some more shit. Even if they It'll lose, never get some, blown out. For some reason, they be in the game, bro. They always figure out a game plan. And lately, their game plans. Um, I think they won their last two, or was it? I think they won their last two games. Or it might be they lost the first one. They just won the last one. They always wishy washy, man. I just yeah, they are, are wish, They are wishy washy, and this to me is only on offense. Is like the real wishy washiness. Is like. But like I said, they still figure out a game plan to still keep them in the game. So I'm going to take uh, Atlanta in this dog fight. I ain't been giving no, uh, I ain't been giving no, no scores. So I guess I'm gonna go with 24-21. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. 24-21 on this one. I'm gonna go 20 to 17, but I'm gonna go for the Colts on this one. Mm -hmm. like, um, <laughs> It's football on turf, right? So they got the, the Dome Stadium, the Mercedes-Benz Dome. You know what I'm saying? I heard people go down there. They don't even watch the game. They get lost all in the, in the background. They lost all in the motherfucking sauce. <laughs> I get it. I get it, right? So some of them Falcon fans might be lost up there, too. But when you're playing on that turf, it's about that speed, man. Josh Downs from the yes. Colts. I need a couple bombs, man. Man, shoot, let that motherfucker go, man. I know, you know, Zach Moss got to get his carry. I got a couple uh, backup running backs that was eating last week. Still got yeah. to run the ball, but I feel like that's going to be the key because it's going to be a, a, a nail-biter, like you were saying, back-and-forth <laughs> type of game like the Falcons always playing. And a couple big plays, a couple defensive plays. I got the coach, but this is what I'm going to say about the Falcons before we leave off. The Falcons is in prime, but the Falcons is almost like the Jets of last year mm. to get a top 10 veteran type of quarterback to come through and see the talent that's here, bruh. 
Drake London, they, Kyle they, Pitts, B. John Robinson. Have, what? Have line. If they could find that, that would be crazy. That would be crazy to go there and have that happen for them, bro. No funny. That would be like a huge upgrade um, in their plan to move forward and stuff. What, how's how miss you? How's miss you been doing since the last time we talked? I haven't really been keeping up with him. He been doing all right, man. I mean, it's been certain games where you know DSA he been throwing more than he want him to throw. Okay. But especially last game, what two two thirty two fifteen three touchdowns. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No picks. Um, been taking pretty good care of the ball. Had a couple okay. games where he. Eh, he been on his Ryan Fitzpatrick yeah. shit. That's what I said on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Like, holding it down. Man, I remember they gave Ryan that damn helmet with all the teams he played for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, I think it was almost every team on that job. That's great. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. We're going to get on to the next game, man. All right. And that's going to be the Lions at the Vikings. Mm -hmm. Lions at the Vikings. So I'm gonna start this one off real quick, man. Um, I told you, Dukes, in the preseason, we was going back and forth. NFC North, you're saying, oh, don't trust the Lions. Oh, <laughs> every year, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They they pick to go higher and higher. This is the Lions I was talking about right here. They coming through, and I mean, I guess technically, they ten and four yards, seven and seven. So Three games left. Maybe I could. Y'all not catching them. It's over. If you got any hope at all, go away with that, bro. I got the Lions 30 to 20. Oh, man. This one of them games where you got to step on them, though. You got to let them know off the break. It's a new king in the NFC North. If you let them fuck around, Josh Dobbs not going to go away. He's just going to keep throwing that motherfucker, right? right. right? So I feel like 30 to 20 is that comfortable, like, yeah. sit down. Mm -hmm. You hear me? I, I agree. Every way you just said, I would pay, I would say 35 to 20. I was almost test, uh, tempted to say 35 to 17. But like you Ooh. said, Josh Dobbs is, is a fighter. You know what I'm saying? But if they go down, though, it's definitely going to be that 30, 35 <laughs> uh, 17, 35 to 20 type of game for sure, though. Like. The D Detroit Lions, I'm actually pretty happy about this for football in general. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not a Detroit fan. Um, I did go out to Detroit, do some work out there. But at the same time, I think it's just good for football to have them doing good uh, in the league. It's been a long time since you've seen Detroit do good. Um, I do think that Washington is one of the other teams that will make the league look better if we got our fists together. But, hey, you know, it is what it is with us. But Detroit for sure, bro. Uh, that's that's like hands down. They've let me down. I think the two times that I've chose them when they played Green Bay um, on Thanksgiving, I was like baffled by that game. To be honest with you, yeah. and then, uh, I can't remember the other game I watched, and they let me down. But I'm still gonna keep choosing them just because I, I really do believe they're still a good team. So Detroit for sure, thirty five twenty. Damn. Yeah, y'all right, heard it here. Y'all yeah. heard it here. We getting on to that next game, though. That Man. next game. Jaguars yeah. at the Bucks. This is the Florida State Football Championship. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, no funny. <laughs> you hear me? And Baker Mayfield going to treat it like that, too, because he's going to lie Trevor Lawrence. You number one pick. I'm the number one pick. You know what I'm saying? They think you better than me. I think I'm better. Ooh, ooh. He just like lit the Packers up last week. 384 touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? Trevor Lawrence dropping the ball, going into the red zone on Sunday night football. And that's exactly why the Jaguars go away. <laughs> they just going to be feeling themselves. Trevor Lawrence going to be in that motherfucker mad like y'all got me fucked up. I got 28. 24 Jags. 28, 24 Jags. That's a good game. That's definitely a good game. I do agree with you that that could be the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The reason, fuck it, the reason that they lose as far as Baker, um, he might get a little too comfortable. But I'm going to take the, that game versus um, 
Green Bay plus the motivation into what you just said is going to be the reason why he actually comes through this time. He just got finished having a good game. And then, you know, Baker always finds a reason to add that chip on his shoulder. So playing against yeah. Trevor Lawrence, playing yeah. against Trevor Lawrence is going to be another motivating factor for him to have a good game. And I think he's going to come through two, day, two games in a row just so they could talk good about him. You know, literally. <laughs> <laughs> he don't even care about nothing else. Like, just so they could talk good about him out here. I'm going to go um, – I think it's going to be like one of them – I'm going to go 3128 uh bucks. 3128 bucks. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh D got the Jaguars too. So man, Sean got got a couple yeah, got a couple <laughs> upset picks. He on the he hey, he going for the for the extra money on the parlay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> this shit this shit hey, okay. come back be like, man, fuck I had one thing, bro. One thing. <laughs> also, if you come down to open market 24-7, you got the what we got, what we got? The windbreaker, birds of y'all main, check on the back. Beautiful, iconic, righteousness, devoted, spiritual. Come on. You gotta rock some shit like that, baby. You got a navy blue and black. Link up with them, hats, fire. Bird flowing on top of your head, let's get it. Also, he got the new ones, you know, it's about to become winter time. Link in, link in, catch you one. This is two, like a uh, cream, cream right there. That's cream. We got navy blue. Hey, matter of fact, first person who leave a comment, birds of y'all mean to this video, you get a free hat. You get a free hat. From facts and stats. We're getting on to the next game, man. We got some heavy hitter games on the tab today. The Cowboys down Miami mm -hmm. to play the Dolphins. Now it's crazy. We got two 10 and 4 teams, but they both wilding for respect for real. For real. Yeah. You got two of the most disrespected quarterbacks in the league for real. For real. Two of you got Dak, top 10 probably for both of them, but you know. We like to nitpick about certain shit about him. I feel like Tyreek Hill sat out last game for the Jets, specifically for the Cowboys. Like, mm. Christmas Eve? Yeah, Christmas Eve? Oh, man, that's a present. <laughs> that's a present. Two touchdowns, baby? That's a gift. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they're at 31 28. Dolphins. Mm. They're definitely one of them. One of them games, but I'm going to agree with the person, the team that you chose to win. We uh we looking at Jalen Waddle and uh Tyreek Hill both going over 100 yards receiving. Uh, uh, I'm looking at maybe between 80, 80 to 100 yards rushing. They might go higher than that, but I'm just saying that because I feel like they're gonna try to burn that secondary up because they've been talking about how quote unquote good the secondary of Dallas has been this year. Um. And we're they're dealing with so much speed, it's gonna be way different uh than any other team they played. That's the thing that is an advantage to Miami to me. Like they're just a, they're such a fast team. Like they got speed here, speed here. Then the running backs, they also got a little bit of power with them too, as yeah. well. So it's like yeah. it, it all of it in the in the backup is a problem. They may need to work. Like like what? You know what I'm saying? You got most of it, then you got I came was I chain or I can yeah, so yeah. make sure. But like them, them both are like crazy to have. Their line been doing good. I'm definitely going uh, d um, Miami. I'm gonna go 35-31 with that game though. Def I do think Dallas might get gonna get their shit together as far as like trying to get things back clicking after. Then they just lose the 49ers. When at the 49ers they just lost to, or did they play um, last? Uh, Dallas they just lost to Buffalo last week. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So. Um, yeah, and I knew they was gonna lose the Buffalo. <laughs> I did. I knew they was gonna lose the Buffalo through all that talking that everybody was saying and everything. Once again, it's one of them situations where they they put Dallas on these pedestals right after a couple wins, and then they gotta play these contenders, you know, to prove that it's really there, and they always fall short. You know, I don't, it just really be going like that. So again, Miami gonna do that to them, thirty five to thirty one. 100 yards from both wide receivers and at least 100 from at least one of them uh, running backs. Man. Tell me. Okay, okay. Book it. <laughs> book it. Put it on it. Yeah. Hey, but when you said that, man, I couldn't I couldn't do nothing but smile about, you know, the Cowboys 
playing other contenders and losing. You know, they beat the Eagles, you know, then. But look at the Eagles hype. right now, too, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm just saying, y'all going through it, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got to talk about that right now, man. <laughs> we got to talk about that right now, man. Eagles at the Giants. We can't worry about nothing. The Cowboys or the Dolphins or the Bills, don't. We got to handle our business right That's now. That's it. No fun. Last, got, night, got nice, nice. last night, that shit was terrible. Now, it was definitely pass interference on the first pick that Jalen threw off the hold. Let's get that straight. Okay. All right. All right. Outside of that, you got to put that game away in the second half. Yeah, yeah. Some bro. drive, you got to get a field goal, a, a touchdown, something to make – what Drew Locke did at the last drive, irrelevant. Yep. That's for Jalen. As far as the defense, it's 152 left and 92 yards to go for Drew Locke, my nigga. Matt Patricia, you wanted the front and center stage, right? You wanted to call plays. I put my man Sean Desai up in the booth like it was his fault, right? Okay, okay, let's run his defense then and get cooked. 92 yards, the whole field. We talking about Drew Locke. <laughs> and that's the thing, like. That boy crying in the post game, like the Michigan coach, the assistant coach after John Harbaugh got. Man, what? Y'all let him do that? I play, hey, that's it. That Stop shit playing. was real live like a championship. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why y'all got to come. I do think that y'all going to come out and win this week. But y'all have to come out and win this week, like, convincingly. You know, one, that's going to be what y'all need to do. Not even just for anyone else to believe that y'all going to get through. But for y'all to get back to believing that y'all going to get through. Because y'all, at the end of the day, it's a lot of double win teams this year. You know what I'm saying? So when you get to them playoffs, man, it, it ain't gonna be no time to fuck around or or like you said, have a 92 yard drive with a minute and fifty two seconds left and you gotta trust your defense. You gotta be able to trust your defense right there too. You, you gotta be able to trust your defense gonna get them off the field. You gonna come out there, you're gonna kneel the ball, maybe run it once, you know what I'm saying, and the game is over. Drew Locke just did that. Drew Locke ain't nowhere near the caliber of quarterbacks that you know y'all going to be playing, you know what I'm saying, in the goddamn playoffs. So the end-of-the-game moments is is very crucial. But I do think that this week y'all going to get y'all shit together and y'all going to come out and y'all, like, wax, you know what I'm saying, the Giants. So I'm going to go as far as to say 35 to 14 Eagles uh, for that game for sure. Um yeah. It should be. It should be. It should be more than twenty-one points, though. Like that's that's yeah. for sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and copy your score right there, man. Thirty-five, yeah. fourteen. Because we definitely ain't seeing the Giants in no goddamn play. <laughs> you hear me? We definitely that's ain't seeing no goddamn <laughs> Tommy DeVito or whatever the hell his name is, bro. <laughs> he hey, look, he had a couple games where he was a good actor. You know what I'm saying? But this this a different movie, man. You know, like how I show, go, he, this this a biography, bro. This is gonna be like this is who he is for real, for real. That we gonna show the world. Just like we did with Daniel Jones. That's just for the Giants fan. Yeah, you know I'll talk to y'all later, man. Um, next game, the best game for real, for real. Yeah, the Ravens yeah. in San Francisco. Nah, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. <sighs> First, the 49ers on Christmas, bro. I don't know how they. This is the type of shit that make me believe the script. <laughs> I ain't, ain't even go. Oh, this is literally the type of shit that make me believe that this is because how the fuck do y'all line up some shit like this for Christmas this year, bro? Seriously, <laughs> Ma and them boys versus bro Brock Purdy and bro fucking George Kittle, Debo. Odell Beckham, Zay Flowers, uh, the Baltimore defense, the goddamn San Francisco defense. How the fuck the did they line that up? The head coaches and stars. How did they line that up for Christmas? <laughs> you got John Lynch in the all. Oh, come Bro, on, we could go at every level of this. You know what? The coaches staff, the damn organization. 
this shit is really a heavy weight battle, bro. And I am excited. You got East for Coast it. versus West Coast. I am excited for this motherfucking game. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, you want to go first with the pick? Or? We got. We gonna have to break this down. We got. We need four downs on this motherfucker, man. We need four downs on this motherfucker, <laughs> man. Cause you got Lamar Jackson, the perfect scrambling quarterback, right? Versus versus Fred Warner, the perfect like spy type of linebacker. Bye. And that whole area is oh, his. God. Fuck, fuck this spot. Like, look, that whole area is fucking his, bro. Right, right, like, right. No, he got like, the he that. got the run, and he got the little drop off pass. If that's what you, oh, and, all that and shit then you got Chase his. Young out there too, and into Rich, the pass rush with the boat with Bosa on the other side. You know what I'm saying? But do they really get to show their talents with a quarterback like Lamar Jackson? You know, you go too out. fast that's- to a spot. He's stepping up. It's literally, it's literally. What's the word we're looking for? Like the uh, kryptonite for each each thing. You know, like both. They literally have the pound for pound. Okay, you got this move. I got this move. You got that move. I got this move. It's just who the fuck gonna execute the way they need to execute in this game? Like this game gonna really. I think it's gonna come down to mistakes, uh, penalties, uh, 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 coaching decisions, play calls wise. I. Talent wise, we not even we don't even have to go into you know what I'm saying questioning what it is is gonna be on that goddamn field, bro. No funny. It's gonna be about execution. Who comes out there and executes their game plan to the best of their ability? Because at the end of the day, these motherfuckers got a hook for every other hook the other person have. You know what I'm saying? An uppercut for every uppercut the other person has. They got one to really combat that shit. This shit should be one of the best games this year that that we was able to watch. It should be. <laughs> but I'm gonna go uh because it's my dog and he 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 closes the home, you know what I'm saying? I'm going Baltimore, man. I'm going Baltimore. I wanna see Lamar do I wanna see Lamar do it. I do. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just really wanna see Lamar get to the promised land and show these motherfuckers that the day that they tried to turn him into a wide receiver or uh running back, Facts. the dumbest conversation he ever had in his fucking life. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go with that. I can't think of a score though, bro. Oh, you gonna might you might have to handle that. I can't think, bro. Like this shit gonna be 28, 27, uh, 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 you with me? 31, 30. I got one <laughs> <30. laughs> for you, man. I got one for you. I feel like both defenses. Oh, first off, before I get to the school, I want to make one more point. Yeah. You gotta watch when when Baltimore got the ball. Watch the receive. The receivers want bump. Zay Flowers, Bateman, Odell, they 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 not scared of the con. They not gonna show like the the 49ers like to get physical in that in that secondary. They not gonna back down from that. At all. Better watch Christian McCaffrey too on that yeah. other side. But I yeah. feel like both defenses are gonna hold it down. I'm gonna go 24-21 mm. with the edge band to the Baltimore special teams, man. Justin Tucker. Ooh. Justin Tucker, any anything go- sixty five and under, the next go. Go home. I think what is it? What is it? Adam Vinatieri and then Justin Tucker gonna most likely go down. And other bro, what's other bro name? But he ain't never played no meaningful football for real. What's his name? Gr- Gronikow. Oh That's- yeah, yeah, Janikowski. Janikowski, yeah, yeah. yeah he ain't yeah. never really had. He ain't played no uh, real meaningful football though. You know what I'm saying? Two though, when it comes to meaningful shit, I'm going Adam Vinatieri and fucking Justin Tucker. No hands down, do you hear me? That's it. <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah nah, I agree with that, Ravens and that, But it's going to be a good game. Everybody link up 8.30. Y'all better yeah, be brother, watching. Wait though, for man. that. Y'all better be there. Shit, I'm going to be there like I'm one of the damn agents or some shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm ready to watch. I'm ready to watch that shit. Lined up. Love. Peace.